What is going on, y'all? It's your boy. I pull up to the house, and I'm bringing you back by popular demand some more Ultimate Team. The first video was received so well, I decided to bring back um, another version or another edition, whatever. And uh, this one was quite a doozy. The ending is hilarious, so please stay tuned through the entire video just to see. I took on a guy uh, named Young Guns or something like that using the Oregon jerseys again. The first guy I faced had it. Also, I'm still rocking the South Alabama duds, so you know what it is. Let's get into it. Oh, and look at this first play of the game. Bo Jack is gone, runs the opening kickoff back, and I look stupid. <laughs> uh, that's usually why I simulate the kickoffs in any dynasty or, or game play like that, just because, I don't know, man, there's some kind of dynamic in this game where it's so hard to defend uh kickoffs I, I don't i don't get it i mean unless you have a really good kicker on your ultimate team i would suggest you know pooch kicking it or drop kicking it something because it just i don't know anyway as you see in this video i'm not using the uh, mark sanchez car from the first one i had to upgrade definitely because i can't trust him with too many games um under my belt i'm actually using dominic davis who is much faster much more accurate with a stronger arm that first play went to greg little for a big first down and i'm gonna show you some of that speed i just referenced just a minute ago and dominic davis scrambles for a double digit yardage and gets the first down extending our drive now further on in the drive it's another first and 10 for us and we got some guys in motion just trying to you know get a feel of what kind of coverage this guy was using this guy played like the ultimate douche I mean, when it came to certain situations, like, you know, you never really go for it on fourth and seven in your own territory, and you don't go for two when you're not really down by enough to go for two, and all that stuff. So the ending definitely served, you know, as kind of a back-in-the-face kind of thing. So now start of the third, uh, the second quarter, excuse me. We're down 7 nothing still in this first drive. I'm very methodical. I, I, I really take my time when I get drives going just, you know, to use clock. And also, I kicked off first, so I'll get the ball again. So if I use up as much clock as possible, I'll end up getting the ball back at the half as well and with a chance to get the lead. So we're, we're still trailing 7-0. We get yet another first down to my tight end, the 60, I think like a 66-rated Dallas Clark card. But he still serves his purpose. He does his job, gets catches over the middle, and... And he blocks pretty damn well as well. So a minute and 45 seconds left to go in the first half. We finally score with my Ted Ginn card, another freshman card, putting in work. Our young guys are really doing the damn thing. I don't really have, at this particular point in my um, my ultimate team quest or whatever, I didn't really have a lot of cards um, uh, that were more than just freshman 60s. And I don't know, I, I make it work. You know, this is back when... A lot of people didn't have 99 teams. If you run into one of them now, you're definitely going to find a lot of guys with stacked rosters. So best of luck to you. As you see, we stopped them on third and short or third and long, fourth and a fourth. I thought I thought it was going to be a punt, but like I said, this guy plays like a douche. He's in his own territory, fourth and six. He goes for it. Fortunately enough for him, we have no pass rush, and he gets the first down to his tight end. He had Russell Wilson at quarterback, and Russell Wilson is very good, just like he was at college, just like he was uh, you know, last season as a rookie for the Seahawks. Kind of got robbed for rookie of the year, if you ask me. But karma strikes back in my favor because Brian McCann gets the interception for me. That's what you get for going to forward on fourth down, even though the game's tied, even though it's in the first half. So take that. We're going to go down the field and try to get some kind of points before the half just so we can have a little bit more momentum going into the second half. And I chuck it up to Greg Little, who brings down yet another big catch. Greg Little's a 77 rating, I believe. I got him in my first pack opening, and he's been he's been pretty big. I mean, he, he makes catches across the middle. Look at your boy Davis just going down the field, doing whatever he wants, doing some Willie Beeman stuff, flipping up in the air, getting flipped on his head, getting the first down, getting us in a goal-to-goal -goal situation. We've got eight seconds left in the first half, and Bo Jackson rushes what looks to be like, you know, it looks like it's a touchdown. But we're stopped on the inch yard line, and I had to make a decision. I could have took that field goal, put us up by three, get the ball back. But I was like, nah, forget it. This guy's pissing me off with the way he plays. I'm going to go for it. If I get stopped, then the clock's going to run out because we have no timeouts. But it's a risk I'm willing to take since I will be getting the ball back at the half. We run the QB sneak up the middle untouched. It's really a hard play to stop when you're, you know, one or two yards out. It's really difficult to stop. So I went ahead and ran it. Put us up 14-7 to seven going to the half. So we got tons of momentum. I want to go into the second half, run the ball some more, you know, use all his timeouts so, and try to get a very long drive just to put this game away. So first play of the second half, we give it to your boy Bo Jack, the freshman card who did his damn thing last week, and he rushes for a big 16 yards to start the half off, running off some precious clock and getting us in better field position. Now, 
uh, later on the drive, it's second and 12. We're in the shotgun, and uh, we're going to send, who's that, Jarrell Jackson in motion. And it's going back to him. I, I, I really enjoy doing that, sending a guy in motion. Uh, you know it's going to go to him, but it's really hard to stop. He's a shorter, speedy receiver, and the guy, he was, looked like he was in good position, but he, his, his corner was in bad position toward the end of the play, and I got the ball. He probably shouldn't have gone with the, the attempt to get a user pick, and he might have knocked it down with a CPU player. Nonetheless, we get the first down, but now we're facing second and 12 once again. We're back in the shotgun. We're not going to try to run the ball because he has a, he had a pretty good defense. So I run the uh, the curl route, which is so cheese. It's so hard to stop when you're running man defense, but that's the way it's designed, just to attack man defenses. Now there's nine seconds left to go in the third quarter. I'm going to just try to you know get a you know some kind of yardage just so I can run the clock out, get to the fourth, and take my three points. So I scramble out with uh, Dominic Davis again. He finds Greg Little on what looked to be a first down. At first, but you know, after I took a look at it, you know, the the four progress did lead him back uh, in, inside the uh, you know the first down marker. So fourth and three, started the fourth quarter, three minutes to play. We're gonna kick this field goal. It's up and it's good, putting us up by ten with just under three minutes to play. A lot of momentum's in our side right now. I want to do the best as I can to stop this guy because he was pretty tough to you know stop on defense with a guy like Russell Wilson, and he had some pretty decent cards. So it, it was tough to you know get him off the field, but his receiver breaks off his route, goes back up the field for a huge gain, like 40-plus yards. Not much you can do about that when you have no pass rush. But, hey, you know, what What can you do? I mean, we did the best we could to stop this guy. He was pretty good. I mean, aside from the, the cheesy kind of douchey play he was doing, he wasn't that bad of a player. It's just, you know, when, when guys play like that going forward and going for two and stuff like that, it, it's, it's really annoying because it's not real football, to be honest. And as he, he gets into our red zone area with another first down pass, Russell Wilson was, you know, I, I tried to get a, a Russell Wilson card a few times in, in the auction house, and they go for a pretty high penny, so I'm not going to waste too much money on it when I got a similar quarterback in Dominic Davis as he gets the touchdown. And here's what I'm talking about. You're down by four. You need to feel, uh, you know, the extra point to get within three points in order to tie the game up. There's still two minutes to get all your timeouts, but he goes for two he gets it, you know, because we can't stop anybody. You know, we're still rocking 60s and 65s or whatever. But look at this. The guy goes for the onside kick as well. What is his problem? We almost broke this off for a touchdown if it wasn't for him being a big-ass lineman or something. <laughs> But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, karma always comes back to bite those in the ass that, that play like, you know, cheese balls and douchebags. So we're running all the clock out. He didn't use any timeouts, which is fortunate for him. We had the third and, uh, third and long. We're going to run it just to make him use a touchdown. And look how this ends. Check out this amazing punt we're going to get from Brian Anger, who's going to push it to about the 20-yard line. It's a very favorable bounce. And look at this idiot. He gets the ball, runs it in the end zone, and runs out for a safety. If you need to, go ahead and replay that because it's hilarious. I laughed my ass off when I saw it. It's going to lead to him quitting the game because what can you do? You got the safety, you're down by four, and you're kicking it off. So he just said forget it and quit the game. So you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely hilarious. You know, Karma bit this guy in the ass in the ultimate way. Uh, don't play like a jerk and you won't get, you know, Fluky plays like that, the the punt bouncing an extra 15 yards in my favor, and then you running out of bounds with it getting me the safety. So I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support, guys. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment, subscribe if you're new. Loyal subs, thank you so much. It's your boy. I'll pull up to the house, and I'm going to get up out of here, all right? Peace.